Welcome back to the Fierce Fish First Tech Challenge programming tutorial series. Our goal in this series is to provide simple and straightforward guidance in programming an FTC robot. And in today's video, we are going to be installing the Roadrunner plugin. Now, Roadrunner is a motion planning library designed specifically for First Tech Challenge, but it can be used outside of First Tech Challenge. It was designed by Team 8367 Acme Robotics from California. This is the same team that designed the FTC dashboard that we worked with a bit in the um, PID tutorials. Now, all props to them for designing this wonderful motion planning library that is used worldwide in the FTC community. So today we're just going to go through the install process and compared to the FTC dashboard, the install process for Roadrunner is fairly straightforward and simple. So we just have to do a few things in the Gradle script. The first thing we want to do is go to build.release.gradle for the team code. We don't want to do the one for the robot controller because we don't need Roadrunner in the robot controller. Okay, so as you see, here, I've already installed the one for the dashboard. Now we're just going to want to install the class name for Roadrunner. You do implementation, and this is the class name, com.acmerobotics.roadrunner core 0.5.1. And once they keep updating this, then that's going to change. And then we have to sync our Gradle. This blue bar at the top should pop up, and we're going to want to sync now. And we'll see that the configure is successful. If it's not successful, something's obviously wrong here. We don't have to do a semicolon because this is a Gradle script. This isn't Java. So now Roadrunner is theoretically installed, but I want to build this and I'm going to show you kind of what happens here. We're going to get an error and we'll see why it's important to fix this error. Now dex files are really important here because there's a limit to how much you can put in a single dex file and we gotta kind of change that to enable us to have multiple so what we want to do is go into build.common.gradle right here and it's gonna start like this there's a java.common at the top and it says try to avoid editing editing this file as it may be updated from time to time as the ftc sdk evolves so the thing with this is once you build and get this error, it's like say you updated your SDK, you build it and you get this error, you'll know to come here and redo what I'm talking about here. So we're going to want to go down to default config. And on the next line here, we are going to put this thing here, multi dex enabled. And we're going to do true. And now we need to sync again. And that should sync successfully. And now if we go to build our project, that error shouldn't be like that anymore. It should all be good now. And we're good. And that's basically a basic install for Roadrunner. There's something else we could do if we needed to have like ZTE speeds, but if you have the newer kind of Android phones, then you might, then you're just going to need to do this and all should be well. So that's going to be it for this video. We installed Roadrunner today and from all of us here at Fierce Fish, we hope you have a great day.